Okay, hello, grade 10. Today we are still in section 4, genetic engineering from chapter 9. We learned that genetic engineering means uh, changing in the DNA sequence of organisms to have new traits. First, we talk about cloning, and we said cloning is a genetically identical copy of gene or an organism. We said also that cloning occurs in nature through asexual reproduction like bacteria, but cloning uh, cannot happen uh, with mammals uh, unless by using a process called nuclear transfer. Now, they, this uh, cloning helped the uh, scientists or researchers in the genetic uh, engineering to use this idea to, and to clone the genes of specific DNA sequences so this, these genes can be used to alter or change a trait in an organism, okay? So genetic engineering involves changing an organism's DNA to give it new traits and it's based on using of recombinant DNA. As we said, recombinant DNA means a DNA that contains genes from more than one organism. And this recombinant DNA is made by using a plasmid from a bacteria, and plasmid is a, a DNA loop that is separated from the chromosomes of bacteria and it, have, it has the ability to replicate. Now they extract this plasmid from the bacteria and they add some genes of foreign DNA to this plasmid, okay? So these are enclosed loops, okay? And they, are, they should be cut by restriction enzymes for both the DNA gene and for the uh, plasmid of the bacteria. So the same restriction enzymes are used to cut the DNA from the organism and the DNA sequence in the plasmid. These two uh, segments of uh, DNA will be stick together by a sticky ending, as you see here in this figure. As a result, this plasmid will become a recombinant DNA because it consists of DNA from the bacteria itself and DNA from other organism. This recombinant DNA will be inserted back to the bacteria and the bacteria will be replicate and uh, expressing the same gene every time it replicates. Uh, so the bacteria will be transformed to new organism and we call it transgenic organism. So any organism that has one or more gene from another organism, okay, will co be called transgenic organism. Okay, so we, um, referring to the previous figure, we observed that plasmid and the foreign DNA with the gene are cut with the same restriction enzyme. The sticky ends of the plasmid and the foreign gene match and the plasmid and the foreign gene are bonded together to form recombinant DNA. Okay, now, after the gene is inserted to the plasmid, plasmid inserted to the bacteria, and the bacteria express the gene while it is uh, replicating. One example of using this method is um, using the use, the bacteria, to make the human insulin. Okay, we all know that the diabetic patients, they lack the insulin uh, hormone, uh, which is responsible for the absorption of a glucose. Now, they make this medicine as insulin uh, by using this method. How? They use the plasmids of the bacteria and they uh, insert in them uh, a gene from normal human that can make the insulin. Now the plasmids are inserted back, in, back into the bacteria and the transgenic bacteria make human insulin which is later collected and used to treat people with diabetes. One example of transgenic uh, organisms are also the plants. Okay? They, use, uh, they change plants' DNA okay, by the same way in, they insert gene into plasmid of bacteria and the plasmid is inserted back to bacteria after the bacteria infect the plant, the new gene becomes part of a plant's DNA and is, is expressed in uh, or like any other gene. Okay, this uh, technique 
has allowed scientists to give plants new traits such as resistance to frost, resistance to disease, resistance to insects. For example, there is a gene known Bt which makes a natural pesticide in some organisms. They take this gene from these organisms and they add it to the crop of a plant, okay? Uh, so the plant will become a resistance for this type of insects. These are called genetically modified uh, organisms, okay? Now, uh, so transgenic plants are useful to increase food production, to save endangered species of some plants, and to resist uh, some uh, pesticides. They are common in agriculture, okay, and many crops are now genetically modified like we say the cherry tomato, like some uh, corn, they, they are genetically modified to resist the insects or some insects. Uh, some also genetically modified plants uh, has uh, added vitamins, okay, and so on. So, uh, we'll stop till here and tomorrow we'll continue. Take care.